Welcome to another edition of Daily World News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. Scientists are announcing a very disturbing discovery which has worldwide ramifications if this is not handled responsibly. Here's what has happened. There is a woman who is in serious condition because she actually died. Welcome to another edition of Daily World News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. Scientists in the United Kingdom in Great Britain are announcing a very serious discovery that has worldwide ramifications. They have identified a virus that is resistant to all known antibiotics. This organism cannot be treated by any antibiotic. It is resistant to all of them. It has been traced to the Indian city of Delhi. Now, that is actually predictable and here's why. Inexcusably, without any moral or scientific justification, India continues to recklessly use and apply antibiotics with abandon. What has happened is the very germs, diseases that are meant to be cured and treated with antibiotics are developing resistance to them over time. They do it a lot faster because the use of antibiotics in India is at runaway levels. It is rampant. It is unregulated. Unlike in most of the world, especially in the West, you can't just go to a chemist or a pharmacist and buy antibiotics. Instead, they have to be given to you by a qualified doctor who knows what they're doing. But here in India, you can just walk up to any chemist, tell them what kind of antibiotic you want, and they'll sell it to you and it's going to be real cheap. This is one of the stupidest things that any country can do. And India has special dynamics where it concerns this issue because India is one of the most populated countries in the world. It is second in population only to China, and in the next few years, it will actually become the world's most populous nation. So use common sense and logic here. What happens when you take the world's second largest populous country whose people number about 1.25 billion and you allow them to buy antibiotics at will anytime they want cheap you're going to create a disaster it's guaranteed these people are not educated in how to use antibiotics they're not doctors so what's going to happen is a disaster and it looks like it has already started now that there is at least one life form that is resistant to antibiotics that previously could be stopped, killed, or cured with them. This is just the beginning, folks. Hopefully India will come to its senses, stop the rampant, unregulated, and irresponsible use of antibiotics so that they can slow down what seems to be the inevitable, which is a series of impending mutations among various organisms who are developing, thanks to evolution, the ability to resist the antibiotics that for years have allowed life to be saved, people to be treated successfully. Those days are now numbered if this continues and if India continues to act irresponsibly.